I am such an idiot. I recorded a full episode of like jam packed on how to put the automation things that you want as steering wheels. It was going to be so good because I developed a way in which to be able to make a steering wheel animated in Beam and G in like literally four to five minutes. It was so quick, it was so efficient. And when I was done, my editor contacted me and said, Hey, just to let you know, you know they put this into automation, right? Ah. Uh, so all of that effort to put this animated steering wheel in to record a whole episode and explain everything technical about it, completely wasted. But you can hardly blame me for making this mistake because they hit it. At the end, right towards the end of the Ellsbury Upstate patch notes, added experimental prop support. Very unexplained, no nothing, no links here to like extra extended sorts of explanations, just that. So in my Discord, in my own automation section, apparently they've already pinned this and this is the explanation. So if you wanna get this, just go to my Discord, go to automation stuff, pin comments, it's the top one there at the moment. If you're watching this much later, it may be further down. Here's a car I've made a while ago, and this is basically how you do it. You're gonna select your steer- Oh wait, this one isn't gonna be usable. So you're going to want a steering wheel that it's on its own. So we're gonna delete that, and we're gonna put in our own dash quickly. That should about do that. So, what we're gonna do is grab this steering wheel. Now, I'm gonna be honest, if this could be the first thing on the list, that would be fantastic. Can I click and rearrange? No. Okay. Well, we're about to get into something really painful. Like really painful very annoying you notice all these numbers here like 39 40 41 and 42 that means that this oops sorry hold on is fixture 41 that's not the only information we need we need to go through every single thing and everything that is mirrored is going to be counted as two uh, so uh the hotkeys for this is period and uh comma is gonna cycle you through all of them. So this is not mirrored, this is mirrored. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. 23 mirrored objects come before this, which means that we need to add 23 onto 41. I've probably miscounted, but we're gonna hope. So object 64, we're gonna save that number. Then we're gonna go down to statistics and this is how we do it. We're gonna go to the description tab. In here previously you would put in things like a race option, which would then export your car with like race stuff. We're gonna be using that. Back to the discord thing. We're gonna grab, including the little tildes, or tilde, however you say it, all the way through to the end there. And we're gonna paste that in then. We're going to put in the prop number here. We're gonna make sure we don't have the brackets. So 64 function, because we're using a steering wheel. Now you can use this for a lot of different things. You can use this for pedals. You can use this for like, if you wanted to put pulleys on the engine, you could potentially use that as well. You just have to place the pulley stuff. Like there's a, a lot of little things you could do, but we're gonna be going with steering. Then we got the rotation. X is lateral rotation. So if we were to do that, it would rotate on the X axis. So rotation X becomes zero. Rotation Y is usually the longitudinal axis. So it's gonna rotate this way. And we want it to rotate that way. And we want it to rotate uh, a binary value of one, like a, so not a binary value, like a value between zero and one, we want it to go all the way up to one. Then Z rotation means that it would rotate on the Z axis, which would not be what we want either. So that gets a zero. Now, if you wanted this to also say uh, like move sideways or like a pedal move forwards when you're doing a thing, this is where you would use translations here. So once again, X axis is this way, I believe. Y axis is that way and Z axis is vertically. Uh, we're not doing any of that because this is just a steering wheel. We're gonna put zeros in there. And then this is where a little bit of information comes in. So we got minimum, maximum, offset, and multiplier. So minimum is the minimum amount of rotation. Then we got maximum amount of rotation. Uh, so we're gonna go from like minus 900 to 900, which is what actually uh, lines up with my Logitech steering wheel. It only has 900 degrees of rotation. So that's what we're gonna be using. Some people use a thousand. I just like to keep it in uh, relation to my steering wheel. 
then offset. So if you wanted it to start offset, say you got like a wonky steering wheel or something, you would have anything here, but I'm going to go with zero. Now that should be in degrees, then multiplier. If you've done all this and realize you wanted to rotate more or less, you would have a value here that is relation to one. So what I'm saying is one means it's going to do everything I asked it to do, but only one amount. If I went like 1.5, it would go to what's half of 900. That's 450, so that'd be a 1350 degrees of rotation, basically. So, there we go. That's all we need to do. And I'm going to give this a unique name. It's going to be Steering. Then, Export. Now, this is in the, uh, like, open beta branch. If you don't have that, what you'll do is you go here, Properties, betas and then you would go here and you would select the uh open beta ellsbury update open beta that that you won't work in normal automation then this all looks pretty darn good let's go ahead and export bring out our car and without modifying it at all you just have to wait for it to load in first there we go oh well, that's not happened before. Anyway, we got steer- Oh, wait, hold on, I've made a mistake. Well, that's the good thing about this. I've still got automation open, so I could just alt-tab back to automation and just go in and edit my code. So, what I had done wrong is this is meant to be minimum minus 900. Now, you can't put it on the latter one for steering. It has to be the first one. It has to be the minimum amount, which should be less than zero. Okay, now we're done. Then just re-export it. Then over in BeamNG, because there's a new DEA, DEA file, it, DAE file, sorry, it's going to refresh this. Now it will, god damn it, what have I done wrong? Refresh BeamNG with a control R, and yes, okay, all it takes is a lot, a goddamn lot of faffing about. <laughs> so when making a car, it's a stupid thing to do. But pick your steering wheel first and just kind of put it anywhere. It doesn't matter as long as, like, you could even place it up here. Then, when you're ready to put it in place, just move it down into place and you're good. That way you know that'll be prop one. God damn it. This, this process, please, please somehow fix it so it's at least that number here. I need that to work better. <sighs> now... There is more to this. Let's say you wanted to have your badge on the steering wheel, which is what some people like to do. I'm gonna grab whatever this is and right about there. Now, unless you're a math genius or you can somehow magically line this up perfectly in the center, this is going to be a little bit of a problem for you. So I suppose we can now chuck to my editor. Hey editor, roll the original thing that I had on how to do the steering modification so you have two ways of doing it this currently unrefined way of doing it which is great but i'm probably only going to use it if i'm able to put the steering wheel in first otherwise do it this way and you know what on the end of that video as well i made a mod which will allow you to put uh or beam and g steering wheels in and i explain how to do it uh so that will also be there this has been such a terrible weekend so far. <laughs> but this time I'm going to show you a much quicker, much more streamlined way of doing this. And the first thing we're going to do is select the steering wheel. We're going to go up to here, and this is all in service of being completely immersive. Then we're going to, so now that it's in like a world space and not local space, we're going to go zero, zero, and zero. Now that's pretty darn close. This is going to be at zero. Basically what we want is the steering wheel to be below the car line. So yeah, it's completely clear of the car now. I'm going to press F to be able to center on this sort of thing. And sometimes you'll have to rotate this on the Z axis 180 degrees to have it facing the right way. But that is up to you. Now that is done. Then bring it over here to the exporter. And this is one little extra little tidbit of information. Expand body bound. Sometimes in the past though, not for so much the underneath. If you just tried to put a fixture there, it would go, oh, well that's a part of the body. So it would put the fixture in under the ground or what some people used to do previously, which is put it 
it at the top, which is a, a, not a great idea. So if you go ahead and turn off the expand body bounds, then the body will not be, well, the collision mesh. And by that I mean if you press Control T, you can see the collision mesh right here. Like this would go up and wrap around or wrap under for where the steering wheel would be. Though a lot of steering wheels these days don't actually have collisions applied to them. But if you're having that sort of problem where the collision mesh is acting weird, just untick expand body bounds. But we don't need to do that for this one. And then you'll have your car in here. No steering wheel, but if we go down, we'll see there's the steering wheel. Still not animated. We're not there yet. What we're gonna do is go into mods, find the new one that we've got, which for me is the twiddle separated. And we're going to select unpack. Then open an explorer. Should bring up a folder like this. Open up the folder, go into vehicles, go into that. Then there's going to be a few folders here. It's going to be the one that has just the letters and numbers, not engine letters and numbers, because that's a separate one. This is the one we want. Then we're going to copy the directory. Now, this is going to be fairly straightforward. So there's even going to be some text in the description, which you're going to copy in a second. We then open up Blender. Now, if you don't have Blender, you can actually get Blender on Steam. It is a completely free program and if you get used to it pretty easy to use really so we're going to select here we're going to select all of that delete it file import dae is the one we want then remember that directory that we copied well we're going to paste that in there hit enter and then we have the body mesh and mesh wait what why is there two Let's start with just the regular, oh, okay, that's the engine. Control Z, F4, import DAE. Like you can go F4 or you can go file, that's your choice. Then body mesh brings out this and we're going to then, uh, like you don't have to move the camera at all. All you'll want to do is press X, select just the steering wheel. You don't want to have anything else selected, just the steering wheel. Press tab, then come up to here to hit the wireframe, then select just the wheel press P on your keyboard to separate the selection. Now press tab, now select this one. Then we're going to hit the negative Y button and we can zoom in with the mouse wheel. We're gonna press tab again to go into edit mode because we're switching from object mode to edit mode. Then we're gonna hit A to select all and then G and Z to move it in the Z axis until it's about centered on this little red and white thing here. Then. Tab, F4, Export, DAE. Then we're going to go over to here. This should be the same directory. And then it's body mesh we want, not mesh, because that is apparently the engine. You're gonna go to here and export Collada. Now, if we go back to the game, this is going to update on its own. And because that steering wheel is not called on its own, oh wait, hold on, I missed one step. What I should have done is gone to here and then change this to basically anything. I like to keep this code here so then it doesn't conflict with other mods in BeamNG. And then just go wheel, hit enter, then F4, export DAE, uh, do that one again, and then this will update again, but the steering wheel doesn't come back or anything. In the previous tutorial, I did this the hard way. I set up three nodes, and then you had to play with all three of those nodes to get this wheel to line up into the right place. This time, we're not going to do that. What we're going to do is use pre-existing nodes. If we go Control T, Control N, we could see that there is already a whole bunch of things in here, and there's actually ones that are set up I'm guessing for interior stuff, but it would be 50, which is just a random node. And then there's 49, perfectly set up to do nothing other than help us anchor our steering wheel. Now, this is the personal system that I've been using for a long time. And now I can get a steering wheel set up in a car in under five minutes. You can get very fast at this. What we're going to do is, uh, you can open up a, and create a new full a file for this, but we're going to open up the main JBeam. And let's also be clear, you don't want to open the Camso Core one, which is a main JBeam. This is a JBeam called main. It gets a little bit confusing, but that's what we want you to open. Now, under variables, we've got so much stuff in here that we could use. We're just going to open up a new line. And just to show you that I got this, uh, saved here is just a text thing. We've got a few setups, but 
what we want is this one. Now this is going to be in the description. Previously what I had you do was set up a steering thing, set up some nodes, I had the center one just pre-set up in my own setup for F1, then some beams connected to those nodes. It was all problematic because then there was no way to take into consideration, the beam spring and damp, it was all just very messy and caused so many issues for people that didn't really fully understand the whole thing, which is what I kind of uh, was targeting it at but not realizing how bad this would be for so many people. But what this does is use already existing nodes, so I don't have to worry about the weight, the dampening, or spring values. Just copy that, go back in here and paste. Then we have to make sure that this is set up right. If we go back into Blender, double click U, copy that name, come back to here, and that is now changed and updated that. The other way that you could do this is because all I did was change wheel, I could go to like a, a cheeky little a sneaky thing down to oh, where, wherever it is. Hold on, we'll get there. Flex bodies. Uh, I could just grab that little bit of thing, then paste that in there. And then I knew that it was underscore wheel. But yeah, that, that's only if you've already closed off Blender or something. That was really particularly matter. That's what you could do. Now, as you can see, we got the A49 and the A50 here already. And then just uh, I randomly selected A25. If we go and have a look, A25 is about where the steering suspension stuff is already uh, a 53 a 21 uh, it's one of these uh, oh here it is I put it way up front you, you could use a different one if you really know want it like a 21 maybe or even a 53 it's it's up to you for the front one but I find that the ones that are hidden behind the dash here a 49 50 are just perfect I either way I'm gonna go in I'm gonna save this Oops, seems like I made a mistake here where I really wanted this to be was not on under variables but under props which should always be there if you got headlights even if you don't have headlights it should be here and you can put it e right in there and then save then we're gonna hit control R and the prop should be in Pro oh there it is okay one meter up really that's way too low. For the purposes of everybody being able to use this easier, we're gonna put that at two. Then I'm going to refresh this, meaning that you'll always be able to find your wheel easily. From here, now you're gonna start fiddling with things. I'm gonna put this back down to something like a 1.2. The X offset uh, and needs to be a little bit further over. Now you can just eyeball this, like a, I've, I'm gonna save this now. I'm gonna hit Control R. And then that's gonna move closer to being in place. You can fiddle with this for the longest time, but if you're a little bit better with Blender, this is what I do. I'm gonna go back into the body and then, oh, perfect, got a node right there in the middle. I'm gonna hit N, then we got the X value, the height value, and then the width value, but these are huge numbers, what the hell? This is scaled to 0.001, oh God, okay. Well, I'm gonna quickly go object, apply, all transforms. Okay, now the value is a little bit more reasonable and it's minus 2865532, good. Copy that, then in here on the X value, we're gonna put that in, wait, uh, is that? I think this is positive. Now eh, we'll find out in a second. Y value minus 0.2279, yeah. Uh, I'm actually finding that this doesn't line up very well because the Z axis is gonna be like a 1.2, but in Blender, it's 0.5? That's weird. Uh, I'm gonna try saving this for now. Refreshing over here and see what happens. Is that doesn't line up, yep, okay, that is even the wrong side. Why is this so weird? Okay, well that shouldn't be happening. Usually this works for me. And when we get pretty darn close to where we need to be, here's where we edit the next thing. As you can see here, this is not really rotated right. It will rotate properly though. Those values are not set really high at the moment. What we're gonna do is go to the base rotation and not the others. So base rotation is how much it is rotated in actual 3D space before any animation happens. Rotation is how much rotation happens during the steering animation or whatever animation it is, whether it's a needle or a dial or anything like that. Then we got translation. So if something needs to move like laterally, forwards, backwards, all that sort of stuff, vertically, that's where translation comes into play. Then we got the minimum, maximum, and then I'm gonna set this to one. And what do we reckon that is? Like 10, 20 degrees? Well, from about 90, let's go to 70. Refresh, and what do we have? 
Yeah, too much. You get the idea. We can go for a drive. Now, I've been recording this entire time. No, like, time skips or really anything like that. Uh, I've been recording for 23 mil minutes, and not only have I done this modification, but I've also run you guys through how to do it. It is that quick. This is probably going to be like a five-minute video. You know what? I Time to pad it out, and I have the perfect way to pad this out. I am going to make this so much easier for everybody else to be able to do this themselves, where all I have to do is basically enable a slot. Yes, you can thank me later for this one. All right, we can close off that one. We can close off this one. Then in Unpacked, I'm going to make a thing, Automation Wheels. Now you're gonna have to download this from the repository. That's basically all you have to do. Then under the part selection, there will be a new slot here. And that's basically, we're gonna grab default beam and G wheels. For instance, we might grab a steering wheel from an auto Bella, just something super simple to work with. So in Blender, we're going, I, I've already got a whole bunch of unpacked DAE files, but there's already this common one. You know what? We might try seeing what that is. Bring that in and what do we got there? Oh, there's a bunch of steering wheels. There's actually seven of them. Perfect. And I'm guessing also the materials will be in common. That makes my life a lot easier. Now, I'm gonna grab that code I was making before, give it a new name, and then we're gonna delete everything we don't need, which arguably is a lot of, oh, and props is the only bit we do keep. Uh, but we're not gonna keep all of it. We're only gonna keep this amount. Then the rest shift down, all the way down, and just clear that out. Now back into Blender, we're gonna grab the first name and we're gonna plop that in here. Now, that should create a prop which goes into these dimensions. The only thing I need to do is find out what, I think it's like Camso mod. All right, now, now we're gonna open up that Camso core thing I was talking about. And in here, you can see that it is a main j -beam, but that's only the, like, that's not what I mean. Well, we're gonna grab this, Camso mod. Go back into here, and that slot type goes there. Oh, wait, hold on. Yep, I've stuffed this up a little bit. There we go. And I'm gonna change up a little bit of this. Authors is gonna be me, because I made this. Except I'm going to undo those spelling mistakes. Then this is gonna be automation steering wheel one. Now back into BMG, you know what? We can get rid of you and oh, we need to get rid of this wheel. Oh no, I deleted it. Ah, I stuffed up. You know what, screw it. We're gonna go to this one now. We're gonna hit control L because I've created a new folder structure and BMG won't be able to recognize it. That is going to reload all the Lua as far as I'm aware. Then control W. Uh, I should be in here. Oh. I'm an idiot. This is not meant to be cams. I'm meant to have a slot type in here. Uh, plop that in there. Whoop, hold on. And place that in there. This is gonna be cam so mod goes in there. Then this is going to be steer, uh, autom uh, automation steering wheel one. I think that's all right. Now if we go into control, to, hey, there we go. Additional modification, automation, steering wheel one. And what do we get? Oh, there it is. If we go in, you can see that it's right there. Perfect. Now if we turn the steering wheel, that's exactly what we want to see. Uh, all right, well, this is gonna have to change a little bit. Let's try zero refresh in here and Oh, fantastic. 12 seconds later. There we go, perfect. It steers and everything. Now, obviously this is not gonna be the same steering wheel position for everybody. So we're gonna to have to chuck some variables in here. So then people can go into tuning and, and uh, set it all up here. I know this is already like extremely long, but what could you do? And variables is what we're gonna grab. Plop that in about here, except we only need like three of these. Uh, these ones make it easy for me because I already know what those do. The rest of these can go away. This is going to be S wheel. Is that right? It does need a dollar sign. Okay, we're going to grab you and then plop you there and in there. Range meter, vehicle, advanced settings. Yep, that'll do. Uh, steering offset. 
uh, steering wheel offset. We'll probably need the whole thing in there, otherwise people will make a mistook. Change a few other things in here. Step distance point one seems fine. Subcategory engine offset. Ah, uh, nope. Let's get rid of that. Then! Oh god, now I have to remember how to do this. Let's grab you for X. Then up in here, this is going to be... Uh, quotation mark, dollar sign, equals that value, plus that, end of quotation. Okay! We should now, if we hide the triangles, go into here, tuning... Oh, it'll be one of these. Hey, steering offset. So let's go like X. Oh, we can make this very big and oh, that's not great. Anyway, uh, put that off and you'll see plop out of pops. So once you get it on there, you just go win, you reset your value. And now we only need one more thing and that's to be able to get the rotation right because, oh, as we see, it's not lined up right. We also may want to play with these. Four is quite a bit. Let's bring that down to like two to make it easy. So if you want to be able to offset more, you'll have to edit this. We're going to duplicate this and it's going to be rot for rotation. Then zero is going to be the default. Actually, hold on. Wait, which one is rotation here? So. 180 to start with, wheel rotation, plop you in there, plus that value, this has to be a dollar sign, <laughs> equals, and the quotation marks, and what? Duh! Thanks BMG for having like a bazillion miles an hour camera just then. A control W into tuning should be right at the bottom here. Steering wheel angle. Uh, let's hope that we got this the right way around. Let's add 10%. Uh, let's try to change this to degrees. I don't know if that works. Yep, okay. That's degrees. Uh, yeah, let's, let's go back to 20%. That's probably a bit much. Let's go like 16. Okay. Will this rotate the right way for us? Please work the way. Want you to? Yes, okay. Except 16 degrees is too much. 12 degrees. Will that be better? Okay, yeah, much, much better. And then we have our rotation. Perfect. Now, this may not be the wheel you want. Luckily, we have a bunch to choose from. So in here, we're going to go ahead and duplicate with Control D. And this will get changed to two. This will get changed to the second one in the list. Duplicate you again, except you're going to be three and three. And do the rest. And under our part selection, steering wheel two. And what do we get? Please work for me, Argentina. Hey, there we go. Okay, well, that one's also a little bit of a racing wheel. Let's see what else we got in here. Oh, they're all racing wheels, aren't they? Oh, I love it. It's so good. Now, the downside to this is if you want to make a custom wheel, you can even put, like, badges on the wheel. Let me show you. You could have, like, a fully custom wheel. Make it out of, like, a bazillion different little things. Uh, for instance... Whoop, let's no, not do that. Decal. We'll grab this. Bring it up. Put it into place, rotate it around, plop it in. You can have any badge there, and you can have a completely custom steering wheel. That is the advantage of the first tutorial I showed you. This tutorial I'm making you now is just basically fluff to show you that I love the community and I'm going to make it at least a little bit easier for people to do. But unfortunately, I think all of these are just racing steering wheels, which is not a, a, a bad thing per se. But uh, some people may not want that, so I'm going to do some extra work here. Oh look, there is one that is at least not a racing wheel. Hey! So I think we got the Autobello covered with a classic old wheel. Let's have a look at something like a Scintilla. Do we want that steering wheel? Yeah, you know what, we'll chuck that in. I have the Scintilla already ready to go. Ah, uh, we're going to grab just the steering wheel. Then back here, we're going to paste it in. We're gonna duplicate you. We're gonna because I want the rotation and everything to be the same. This is this gets really tricky into how props are all busted, but basically to make life easier, I want this to join that. And the easiest way to do that is to create its own thing. So this is gonna be just the skin. Then this is going to join that. Uh, then we go into edit mode. We're gonna delete. Wait, hold on. Let's have a look. 
that is lined up perfectly. Okay, good. Delete that. Then objects, uh, geometry to origin, <laughs> make my life just a little bit quicker and easier. R for rotation, X on the X axis. And right about there. I've just realized that this is going to cause a bit of a problem. Uh, we're gonna have to go F4, export, DAE, only select it, and then we're gonna have to put it in our new directory. Copy you, paste you in here, and this is going to be extra wheels. Then back into here, we're going to duplicate you one more time. This is gonna be eight, this is gonna be steering wheel skin tiller and we've got that net no that's wrong uh back in here steering skin tiller paste you in there save you uh back into beam ng tab over to you control w skin tiller now if you want to grab more wheels you know exactly how to do it and to uh, get everything to come over oh wait we've got a material problem Damn it! Uh, materials. We have steer 005 at. Wait, we don't need that. These are the two badges and interior. Open up the scintilla. Just drag the entire materials file in, then edit it. So we want uh, just the badges and interior. We have to grab from here, shift page down. Everything except the last bracket and remove the last comma as well. Save that. Uh, we got to change this to extra wheel options. Just basically so then it's not anything that could conflict. Now refresh, see if that fixes the issue. Nope. Um, bugger. Wait, I know what I did wrong. Oh, I'm such an idiot. All right, back into here. When I did that joiny thing, I'm an idiot. UV maps, okay, all right. Uh, one of these is the right one. UV editing, select everything, that's all in the corner. UV maps, get rid of you. Okay, perfect, all right. Now F4, export, DAE, uh, perfect. All right, now we fixed everything. C, great, and, oh wow, we can even change the color of that, fantastic. How am I such a dumbass sometimes? It's just when joining these things together, really what you should do is, I wonder if you can have no UV unwraps. And I'm not gonna save this, but can I go, I can delete. Okay, so uh, what you'll do is if you want to create duplicates of this, you would uh, open up the, no, no, not that one, hold on. Okay, yeah, so this is the one which I have put into this directory right there you would import that and then you would find this and you'd be like okay let's say for instance we open up another blender import another car let's choose something like a bastion we would hide everything else we'd grab just that then we would copy it close you off bring it into here paste it in now this is the thing that I did wrong. So we're gonna duplicate this, and this is going to be called the Bassa. Doesn't really matter. Then we're gonna grab you as well. Make sure that the orange one is the new wheel and the old one is the like yellow orange highlighted one. Then you're gonna go join. Uh, wait, no, hold on, no, well, hold on, you're not gonna first. First you're gonna select the new wheel. Make sure you got the new one. UV maps, delete those. Then we're going to select that as well. Join. Then we got the one mesh map. Let's just double check that. Yep, only one mesh map. Go in, delete that. Then you, we're gonna go object, uh, uh, geometry to origin. Go to the side view, rotate you around to where you're kind of horizontal. F4, export, DAE. This is the new extra wheels one. Then under materials, uh, we don't need the skin tiller ones because we already got those. So delete and delete. Bastion interior, let's go F4, export DAE. We can save that again. Okay, Bastion interior. In the Bastion here, we're gonna go down to where we have the materials. Uh, find our material that we want. Copy you. Put you into this, paste you in, save you, then back to Blender, copy the name, go to this file here, 
duplicate you, change you to nine or whatever it's going to be. This is going to be the Bastion and paste that name in there. Now back to Beam and G. We have, hold on, hold on, hold on, refresh, there we go. Automation steer, let's go to the Bastion steering wheel. Then, perfect. <sighs> All right, why are you being such a pain? Bastion interior is here? Oh, wait, hold on. I am missing a bracket. Did I? <gasps> I missed this line. Okay, let's put you in there then. Now, if we refresh, it should be perfect. Okay. Ugh, that took way more effort than what it should have. But yay, look, there we are. That was actually not too bad. I have now been recording for one hour. Though this is probably cut down to about 20 minutes. To be honest, there's not a whole lot here. Maybe even less. And you should now have a mod in the repository, or at least the knowledge to know how to do it with a specific wheel that you have created yourself. Well, what a journey we've been on. From not having enough real stuff to put into a single video to now padding it out to make probably one of the more used mods we'll probably see on the repository especially for anybody that really likes automation i don't know if anybody else has ever created this before but uh if it has been created i'm sorry i don't want to be stepping on your toes if it has been created then woo good for you if you wanted to be good for me, you could hit that subscribe button. That would be very much appreciated if I haven't already said that in the video. I can't actually remember whether I did or not. Uh, this is, yeah, also not the best handling car. It's just a little bit of fun. Probably not going to bother to put this car in the repository. It's just the, an example car that I just whipped together rather quickly. But, uh, you know, it's also whipped together really quickly. This outro where I thank my channel members. It's actually not whipped together. My editor probably spent a fair chunk of time doing it. Uh, who I specifically want to thank, though, is my top tier channel members. And that specifically includes the Rotic, the Crayon Priest, Gav the Stig, and Novafire98 for being top tier channel members. Unless I said top tier channel members already. I can't remember anyway. But for now... The rest of you uh, filthy unwashed mashes, ma masses, I'll catch you all next time. Goodbye.